Paru. R.I.P. Slim 400. On Paru. On Paru. Wake up. It's live. Okay, man, 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 I'm going on left, left to right, right, left, left to right, right. <laughs> Y'all need to, oh, oh, I'm tweaking, bruh. Oh, I'm tweaking. I was about to leave the whip. Oh, my God, what a fucking dumbass. Oh, what a stupid ass. I was about to leave the whip, bruh. I'll leave the whip in the, I mean, I'm about to leave the keys in the whip. Yeah, look at my look at my bitch's ass, bro. My bitch got a nice ass, nice nice old booty. I need that video today, bro. I was gonna upload that video today, but I was bad. I just got home like an hour ago. You feel me? It takes like forty minutes for it to upload. The video will not be uploaded till like eight p.m. To keep it real, I'll be back. Eight p.m. To keep it real. I'll be back. Who's in here, man? Who's watching me, man? Quick little live stream, man. I wanted to spark up for y'all real quick. New video tomorrow. I was gonna upload the video today, but like I just said right now, just got home. Like, bro, I rolled up a joint. I got home, rolled up a joint, and here I am, bro. Like, so I wanted to hop on, say what's up to everybody. Hope y'all having a good day. Hope y'all having a good high. You feel me? Shit, bro. Everything good with you? Yeah, I'm chilling. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. Oh, what's up, Ezekiel? What's up? What's up, dog? We need that video now. Shit, bro, everything good with you? A little quick live, man. Everything's good, man. Everything's actually... Oh, whose is this? Somebody left the battery out here. Whose is this? Whose is this? Bro, did you like that Sour Diesel Big Chief? I'm, bro, honestly, that Sour Diesel Big Chief had to be my favorite one. I think that was the first one I ever got. I... Sour Diesel Big Chief. Is that the... First time I ever made a video on Big Chief? If so, why do I don't have a lighter. Fuck! Hold up, man. Gotta get a lighter. <laughs> get the lighter real quick. You know what? I've been meaning to get rid of this lighter. This big ass cooking lighter. Y'all would just find anything like I don't know. Like anytime I find myself using one of these lighters, I feel like a bum. I'm like, damn, bro, this is really what it what it came down to—a fucking kitchen lighter. But um, got the cookie tray charging. Yes, sir. Skay. There's so much LEDs in my room. LED, LED. This is all LED. Yeah, so many LEDs in my room. Bro. Ah. I hear how fucking quiet my house is, bro. Like the fucking silence is so loud in my house. Like you can, you can really hear. The house. Whenever the homies come over, they're like, "Damn, bro, your house is so." Quiet. I'm like, for real. Like, I didn't even notice. I didn't even notice. Y'all have a quiet house, bro. Y'all got a loud house, man. How many? Y'all got a bro. You guys think, bro? This is what I've been trying to. I, I've been thinking about this lately. Do you feel like? Okay, I'm the youngest. I'm the youngest. I have a brother and a sister. Oldest sister, and then my brother, and then me, right? I feel like me personally, since I'm the youngest, I'm attracted to women that are the oldest in their family. You know what I'm saying? I'm a musician. I'm a musician. I keep it loud. Shit, bruh. 
We're about to have a baby in the house, man. I'm the youngest, bro. And look what I'm doing. I'm drinking beer and smoking weed. And we're about to have a have a little niece at the house, you feel me? So Damn, I can't go in the house. I can't go to the Nah, I can smell like weed in front of the kid, huh? So I'll just be like, bro. <laughs> bro. Bro, my dad smelled like cigarettes when I was a kid. Giving me cancer and shit. This bitch be curing cancer. If anything, I'm helping the kid. <laughs> Nah, but I remember, like, I remember when I was a kid, I would always see my dad, like, right right before we get into the car, we're, like, at the mall or something, we're at Target or whatever, I would always see him spark up a cigarette, and I would always, I would always see him do a ghost, and then he would blow the, he would do a ghost, and then blow the smoke out of his nose, and I'm like, I gotta do that, I gotta do that, and now here I am, with the fucking joint in my hand, at least I didn't go through the cancer sticks. I don't like I don't like cigarettes, bro. Uh, kind of, uh, I don't know. Mid, mid, mid. I can see how they're addicting as fuck, though, bro. Because with the cigarette, it's like having a whole bunch of little ass joints rolled, bro. It's like, I don't know. I was smoking cigarettes the other day with Caesar. That shit was kind of addicting. I'm not gonna lie. I like cigarettes more than uh, bro. I keep telling y'all, bro. You need y'all need to try to not smoke fucking anything that's a vaporizer try not to smoke on it bro Just try not to like we don't know where this shit is gonna lead to in a couple of years bro 20 years down the line 30 years down the line from now all you motherfuckers gonna have fucking metal in your lungs like some weird ass shit bro flower flower's been around forever we know the long-term effects of flower even even wax bro damn is somebody fucking my bitch if i dropped a joint while it's not lit uh, I don't think so. Even Wax, bro. Wax barely came out, what, 2012, 2011, maybe 2013. Cartridges came out, like, what, 2016, 2015, maybe? Flavor X. That's, like, one of the first brands I ever heard of. Flavor X cartridges. Choke one right quick, mate. Yeah, bro. New video tomorrow. Nothing crazy, bro. Nothing crazy. Little hot box. We we're like at Wingstop. I don't think I filmed any Wingstop, but we we're just chilling and shit. You feel me? Hot boxing, talking about stuff. There's me. It's me, Lorenzo, and Michael. So I don't know. I don't even remember the last time we filmed the video. All three of us just like kicking it and chilling. But um, go ahead and spark up this joint, man. This is um, this is not the last joint of the Bazooka Joe Bubblegum Gelato. There's one more joint left, maybe like a joint and a half, something like that. I'm gonna go ahead and spark up, man. I said new video tomorrow. Nothing too crazy, but this is a pretty good video. It's all right video. I, uh, there's gonna be like some extra clips in there that y'all haven't seen um, from a couple days ago and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Just a thing or two. But, um, yeah, man. Spark up this joint. Hopefully, y'all enjoy y'all's day, man. Have a good day, man. Don't stress too much, bro. Whatever it is that y'all stressing about, bro, try not to stress too much about it. Because it's kind of no point. You know what I'm saying? Two years from now, something you're stressing about right now is probably not going to matter too much. You feel me? So... Smoke some weed, man. Don't crash out. Don't kill yourself. And you might just make it, bro. You might just make it, man. Just don't crash out. Don't give up, bro. A like little baby said, bro. Just don't crash out, bro. Don't kill yourself. You might just make it, bro. It's worth it. Worth finding out what's gonna happen man really is but um yeah man we got some moon rocks in this little joint you feel me smoking on smoke smoking on smoke man what's your favorite strain at the 
uh, my favorite string, bro, at the moment. Man, I think it would have to be like. I don't know. Right now, I'm really into like indicas and shit. So, anything that just like makes me forget about shit, man, just pass it, pass it this way, bro. Oh geez, you know what I'm saying? Any, anything heavy hitting right now? Yeah, I don't really. I'm not really into sativas right now. I've been getting hell anxiety lately, so I feel like anything that's just anything that's just makes you get in the couch. You feel me? Anything that's gonna put me in the couch, I'll fuck with it right now. <clears throat> I've been smoking a lot of OGs too lately, so right now I'm kind of into like a uh, this whole little flavor thing. You know what I'm saying? This whole little uh, candy candy flavored weed and stuff man i've been smoking a lot of og lately so i'm kind of switching it up right now smoking on some more exotic shit you know the only thing i hate about exotics a lot of times is that they'll taste really good but they won't get you that fucking high and then like an og strain is always gonna get you high like anything og bro it might not taste the fucking best like that chapo that i had the chapo by family farms didn't really taste too good got me high as fuck bro so that that's really the key for for some good treat man something that tastes good and it just gets you high as fuck usually it's one or the other tastes good doesn't get you too high gets you really high doesn't taste too good you know what i'm saying i've said this before bro. if anybody listening to this wants to take my idea bro go ahead and do it bro there needs to be a company that's strictly Nothing but OG strains, lemon haze, lemon tree, sour diesel, chem dog, fucking, you know what I'm saying, bro? Like, just no, no exotics, bro. I don't want to see no Oreos. I don't want to see like gelato, bro. Like, like, I just want, I just want a company where I could go to this company every single time, and I could for sure buy some OG, like whatever it is. Oh, just OG Kush in general, bro. Go to a dispensary. Ask if they have some OG Kush. They're going to bring out $70 A's, $80 A's. Like, bro, you why can't I go to the disco and just buy some OG? I go to the dispensary. Y'all, do, y'all, do you guys have any OG Kush tree? Oh, no, but we got this fucking fruity, fruity, fucking fruit of the loom, fucking whatever the fuck it is. Like, bro, I just want some OG, bro. That's it. I just want to go to the store. Y'all got lemon haze? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got lemon haze. This whole company, like, man, shit. Come on, man. But I think it's because it's harder to grow, like, OG strains and shit, right? Yeah, I can tell there's a whole bunch of moon rocks right here. Because it's starting to hit kind of weird. I can see, like, it's not sparking up right here. A whole bunch of moon rocks. You, y'all need to do me a favor, bro. Go on YouTube right now. Oh, wait, y'all on YouTube already. Go on the search bar right now. Or actually after the live. And look up. 21 Savage Moon Rocks, bro. Oh, my God, bro. It, it, it makes me want to get Moon Rocks, bro. Like, it made me want to get Moon Rocks. Bro. Like, oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? And now, now I'm smoking on Moon Rocks, bro. Yeah, man. What's in your guys' stash today, bro? What have y'all smoked today, bro? Huh? This is my first time smoking all day. Y'all, y'all witnessing it right now, bro. My first time smoking all day, bro. Usually I wake up, take a dab. Got no dab. Um, and when I have tree, I won't really smoke till midday. I ain't gonna lie. Unless I'm gonna hop on live in the morning or something, <laughs> which I never do. When have I done that? Um, and uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, like yeah, I, I really don't smoke Monday through Friday. I don't really smoke till like 5 p.m. If all I have is some treat, I ain't gonna smoke till like 5 p.m., you feel me? Oh, it's starting to hit fucked up. Damn it. There's too much wax at the bottom. Damn it, look. Oh, that one hit pretty good. Damn, all the moon rocks. Ended up being at the bottom, fuck. This is the only thing I hate about Moon Rocks, too. This is like the second time this shit happens to me. What you eat today, bro? I ain't eat shit. 
Bro, I haven't ate anything. I'm talking about... All right, you really want to know what I ate? Nah, I don't smoke fire mats no more. I'll explain that in a little bit. I, I don't understand what happened with me in that company, bro. I, 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 honestly, I feel like I could have done better. I do feel... I, I feel like I could have done better for fire mats. You know what I'm saying? I just... Bro, what? Like, I was a kid making videos. Like... I don't even think I had a thousand subs. Maybe I did have a thousand subs. I was just a kid, bro. And I was getting free cartridges in the wet. I was getting free cartridges, free weed. Like, bro, I was like, what? So, it, I think I, I could have put more effort into the videos. When Fireman sent me some stuff, like, I could have gone out to public, make people hit blinkers and shit like that. So, I do regret that. I ain't gonna lie. But I've said this story before, man. I remember Fire Man tried sending me a script one time. Like, they tried, they DM'd me a script, and they wanted me to say, like, Fire Man is so good. Like, go buy this now. Like, I was like, bro, I'm not going to do that, bro. I'm going to keep it real. And and it, it actually ended up being a product that I did not like, and I, and I kept it real with y'all. It was the fucking, it was the uh, Fire Man pre-rolls. And I kept it real, bro. I said, I wouldn't spend my money on this. Would I go buy this? Probably not. And I just didn't want y'all to go spend your money on some shit that was not worth it. You feel me? But, I don't know. Fine Man has other things to worry about. You know what I'm saying? I was just a small YouTuber. You feel me? I ain't shit. I ain't nothing, bro. I ain't nothing. I'm not a sellout. Yeah, maybe that's what it was, but... Also, at the same time, I could I could admit to myself that I could have done better for the company, for sure, for sure. I could have, for sure, put them out a little bit more, you know what I'm saying? But it is what it is, bro. I was getting, you know what I'm saying? They, they, uh, they blessed me for a couple months and shit, you feel me? I was getting free cartridges, free weed. Free, uh, not free weed. It was more pre-rolls, not weed. They never really sent me, like, flour. It was uh, always, like, a pre-roll. But hey, man, part of the process. I'm I'm blessed that it happened, bro. Shit, if I was able, it, bro, if I was able to pull a company, a, if I was able to get a company's attention like Fireman at a thousand subscribers, you know what I'm saying? Like, imagine what I could do at ten thousand. You feel me? Like, shit, and that was just like a learning process for me, bro. Like, shit, bro. I was I was I was 19 years old, bro. I was 19 getting free like I, my whole life bro all the homies bro every i always had to pitch in for weed with the homies man every, I, this this always been an issue like it's always been an issue and then i started getting free weed it was like what bro so there would be times where i would just go into the fireman stash pull out pull out a pre-roll and not film you feel me and i would just get high and that's where i started fucking up I started smoking all the product without filming it, and that's where I fucked up. I can admit that. But um, you know now I know, bro. If a company ever hits me up again, like, like that company uh, that sent me some batteries recently, bro. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I could have, I could have easily just unboxed those batteries and then kept them to myself. But I was like, this is something that I would have never had if it wasn't for the videos. So why not put everything I got into the video? So I gave a battery to all the homies, you know, every single, every single, all my closest homies got a battery. You know what I'm saying? They all got a free battery. I could have had a whole supply of batteries to this day, bro. Like my battery barely fucking broke. Like it barely broke the other day. My yellow TK10 battery barely broke the other day, bro. Could have had, three more to use you feel me but i said like what like what's the fun what's the point of me getting all this shit and then i can't spread it to the homies you know like like what's the well, what like what's the you know what i'm saying like nah what's the point bro like well, i'm just gonna enjoy it myself <laughs> that's boring uh, you know what i'm saying like what like spread the wealth with the homies bro and not even like whoever you love bro whoever it is that you know Gotta spread that wealth, man. What's the point of having money if you're just gonna keep it all? You know what I'm saying? Gotta do something with it. Put something back in it. I got Yardwolf. Nah, they're weird for that. I feel you. 
Yeah. They were just doing what a company does, bro. I mean, shit, if I had a product, I mean, nah. I, I ain't even gonna say that because I do have products, bro. I have clothes. Like, anytime I make clothes and shit, I tell the homies, like, bro, keep it real. If it's bunk, it's bunk. Like, just tell me what it is. Like, I ain't gonna... I, I'd rather have have you tell me I look stupid than tell me I look cool and then I go look stupid in front of everybody. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta, you gotta take, you gotta take, uh, you gotta take people's opinions for what it is, bro. Everybody gotta, uh, like, I, uh, I forgot where I heard the saying, but an opinion is like an asshole, bro. Everybody has one. So, just fucking, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't, you can't change people's opinion and their opinion doesn't mean that it's right. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's just an opinion. I have my own opinion about stuff that people might not agree with. So it's like, you can't get mad at somebody's opinion. You need, we need to be able to have like conversations and argue with each other as adults without getting mad at each other. You feel me? And that's something that I found with my homies, bro. Like me and my homies, I've gotten into arguments with Mike. I've gotten into arguments with Lorenzo. I've gotten into arguments with Teo. But at the end of the day, it's like, we know what it is, bro. Like, okay, we're, we don't agree about this shit. Cool. And what? Like, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like that's when, um, I feel like that goes as deep into as a company. You feel me? Like Fireman, if Fireman understood that, you know, if I think Fireman should have took whatever criticism I had on their product and made it better. Like, okay, he's talking shit about this. Well, I'm going to make sure you're not able to ever talk shit about my product ever again. Which they kind of did because they just cut me off and stopped sending me shit. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Fuck them niggas, bro. Nah, man. Nah, nah, they're cool, man. Like, I get it, bro. I, 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 I did my part too, bro. I did my part too. I, I, I didn't, I didn't do my part. That's what I meant to say. I didn't do my part, and I can understand that. You know, they told me, you know, what I'm saying, if you want to keep getting, they didn't tell me that, but like, basically, if you want to keep getting product. You know, that's what it is. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, and the moon rocks are like heavy in this bitch, but I think I put all the moon rocks like right here, so this bitch is not hidden no more. All that resin, all that resin drip. They fake, bro, trying to send you a script. Yeah, but I mean, I get it, bro. I get it. It's just, it's just you know what it was, bro? It wasn't like a, if it was a script, you know, if it was a script, like, this is the fireman blah 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 but that's what that's that's i don't think that's from my memory that's not what they sent me bro they sent me they sent me a fucking script saying this is the best product i ever had like some bullshit you know like somewhere in those fucking turn and i don't know bro they were just a shit like bro they literally screen recorded my youtube video they screen recorded one of my youtube videos about them and they put it on their channel. And they kept fucking... They posted it on the Fireman Instagram. And then they kept po reposting it on their story. And then I had, like, people that I knew, like, messaging me, like, Oh, what the fuck, you on Fireman's Instagram? And I was like, I didn't even know. Like, they never asked me for permission, bro. They never asked me. They never once told me, can I? You can we use your, your YouTube video on our, on our Instagram? They never asked for permission, bro. It was weird. And it was like, I don't know. I, I could just tell that that company was, if I could tell Fireman was just trying to put their product out there. They just wanted a quick crash, uh, quick uh, cash grab. You know what I'm saying? They didn't really like sit there and analyze the problems of their product and try to solve them. They were trying to make it seem like there was no issues with the product and get people's money. And I wasn't fucking with that. I, just, I, I, I peeped it, bro. I just peeped it because I was talking to them and they were giving me some robot ass. They were giving me some robot answers, bro. Like some robot ass answers, like animated ass answers. Like this call is like, you know, like, you know, it's like a script. Like they were, they were sending me their own script, bro. Like they were had this own little thing typed out type shit. That's what I, that's what I felt like. I kept asking questions and I wasn't getting answers and it just felt weird. And I remember I even asked them too. I asked them. I was like. I was like, can y'all at least tag me? Like, can you at least put my damn Instagram in the fucking video? Like, this has 10,000 views on Instagram. And, like, y'all are just using 
something I spent hours working on, and you just uploading it on your channel like that, uh, no tag, nothing. It was kind of weird, bro. That shit weird to me. I don't know about y'all, but I think that's weird. <laughs> I think that's hella weird. Because if they at least gave me a tag, Fine Man's, Fine Man's Instagram isn't even up. I bet. I mean, they kept getting deleted, bro. I mean, shit. I don't doubt it. Um, shit. They, they kept re-adding me. They kept re-adding me on Telegram and shit, bro. Like, their shit always got deleted. It always got deleted, bro. Even my homie, bro. My homie just for some reason stopped buying Fire Man cards from him, too. And my homie knew... Like, my homie knew, like, the main people at Fire Man. Like, he knew. And it, and it was weird, too, because I remember, like, he told me that. But I never even used him as a connection to get to Fire Man. It, it, like, Fire Man reached out to me. And bro, well, I'm not say, uh, I'm not, uh, bro was, like, the only, bro was the only one selling Fire Man's, like, in the two, like, like, in the 209, like, he was, like, really one of the only people selling Fire Man's. And if somebody was selling Fire Man's, it's because he sold to them. Like, he was your plug's plug, bro. Like, there was, like, a plug around town, and he was selling to all the trappers. Bro, this fool is the one selling to the plug, like... <laughs> Like, the price you're paying, bro, like, you're paying retail. You think you're paying retail, but hell no, nah, bro. Like, this was the full selling to the full, like, type shit. And um, even him, even him he's, he, like, they, he got cut off from Fireman, too. And it, it was, now that I think about it, he stopped getting cartridges around the same time that Fireman stopped sending me shit. Now that I think about it, bro. I feel like something happened with the company. I feel like they got raided or something. You know what I'm saying? Five Man sounds bunk. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Five Man was just one of the best cartridges around streetwise. That's what it was. And then as soon as people got a, a taste of a real cartridge from a real dispensary, how it's really supposed to taste, I think people kind of started looking at Five Man like, what the fuck? What the fuck is this? Because people, like, you can't hide bullshit nowadays, bro. Bullshit is so see-through nowadays. Somebody's going to call it out. If you don't call it, if you don't call it, if you don't see it, somebody else is going to see it. You know what I'm saying? And if you don't call it, call the bullshit out, somebody else is going to call the bullshit out. So, it's, bullshit is very see-through nowadays, bro. You know what I mean? You can see bullshit from a mile away. You can tell when a company is just not genuine. You can tell when a YouTuber is not genuine, you feel me? You can tell like when it's just not real. Like, you can tell it's fake. Just damn near like, bro, you don't want to be doing this. Like, like, or like, I don't know. This, I don't know. Should be happening, bro. Damn, I said a quick stream, bro. I ended up smoking the whole joint with y'all. Bro, I always do this shit. Fuck, man. I always do this shit, man. I, it's because I hop on here, bro, and then y'all start giving me energy, motherfuckers. Y'all start fucking feeding into the fucking... Y'all feed into the fucking fire. Fucking assholes. My guy, one slow. What up? Ever think about growing your own? Bro, I was supposed to grow last year. My homie? Man, I'm surrounded by some crazy motherfuckers. That's crazy. I just realized it. Motherfucker here, motherfucker there. <laughs> Damn, but the homie, you know what I'm saying? He uh, used to grow. Um, used to grow. He would take me to, like... I would go buy, bro. This fool would sell me, this fool would, this fool would sell me, zips for fifty bucks. I was like what? What the fuck? Like I think I made some videos about it for sure before. Like fifty dollar ounce of indoor. Um. There's a, there's a for sure a couple of videos back in the day, like at, like a year and a half ago, two years ago probably. This fool hasn't grown in a minute. He got like in some some le some legal trouble, and uh, you know what I'm saying. Bro had to uh, stop growing and shit. He had a kid and stuff. But bro, like every time I would go over, he would just teach me shit. I wouldn't even ask him. Like I wouldn't ask him questions. I would start asking him questions, but it wouldn't have start off like that. I would go over. I would be like, damn, like he, he was like, that's what I fucked with it, bro. Like he was, 
like somebody that actually cared about flour. Like he was showing me some seeds. He was like, yeah, bro, I go on this website. I order seeds from here. He was like, I just get them through the mail. He would order from Humboldt. He would get a whole bunch of seeds from Humboldt County. And like, he was just showing me like things. He taught me the hell of things, but I was like, what? Took me to his backyard and shit, showed me his grow. Had a fucking like five gallon buckets, bro. Of some fucking just big, bro. Like these trees, like, uh, nah, I don't, don't want to say too much, bro, but like, bro, you can see the fucking trees from my house, bro. And he lives a whole, you know what I'm saying? He lives, you know what I'm saying? And I was like, fuck, like, this nigga was really doing it. Like, I would hear, I would hear drones, bro. I would, in the middle, like right now, like at this time, I would hear, bzzz, I would hear drones and I would, I would see lights over his fucking house. And then I remember I, I, I remember he, I didn't ask him, but he told me one time. He was like, yeah, bro, they be flying drones over my house. And I was like, what, bro? I was like, like that's crazy. Cause I, was like, I, I hear that shit, bro. It's like, you can hear it. Uh, you can hear the fucking drone. It's crazy. Like, even, uh, like, the way my town works, bro, like, as soon as you enter to town, there's, like, the, it's, like, a one main street. So, like, that main street, it just takes you down all through the through the town or whatever. And you pass by through a police station when you first get into town. And like any time that the police have a trailer with a big old metal box, you know somebody's gonna get raided. And like people will start posting on Instagram and shit. Like I remember in high school, like in Snapchat, it would they would always do that, bro. People would post the fucking metal trailer with the cops and they'll be like, Somebody's getting raided today, bro. Like shit. If you know, you know, bro. Shout out Oak Street, bro. Oak Street. Oak Street's fucking crazy. Like, that's the craziest street in town, for sure. Like, they found a dead body there the other day. That all the, um, all the, um, what's it called? All the field workers or whatever. And it was like six, seven in the morning or, when, or like whenever they go in or whatever. And there was a car parked in the middle of the orchards and there's like a dead body in there. There's like yellow tape all around the orchards and shit. That, that street's fucking crazy, bro. Like that's where all the drugs come from in this town, bro. Like all the bicycles live over there. All like the crazy ass narcs and shit. But yeah, bro. This joint's burning hella slow. This, I feel like the roach lasted longer than the fucking joint, bro. I've been hitting through the fucking roach for hella long. Hey, y'all know what I want to do? Tell me if this is fucked up. Is this fucked up, bro? I want to remove baby Jesus and put an ounce of weed in there. Is that fucked up? Is that fucked up? I don't know. Or like, I don't know, maybe like stick a joint, you know? I don't know, bro. Like, I don't know, bro. Is that fucked up? <laughs> is it fucked up? Make a TikTok of it. Go famous for some for some fucked up shit. That's how we gotta blow up, bro. That, that's how that's how we're gonna take over this fucking world. Got this one fucked up shit. Huh? I gotta start being stony again. Nah, I gotta start being. I gotta be Tony, cause Tony was fucking mischievous. Stony's very chill. Nah, Stony was crazy as fuck. That's how I got the name. Shit, that's a little fucked up, huh? I ain't gonna lie, bro. My mom gonna kick my ass, bro. Shit. I just wanna like imagine or like maybe he's hugging an eighth. You know, the baby could probably hug an eighth. What if he, you know what I'm saying? Like, with his little hands. Bro could hold the eighth. Bro could hold at least two eighths. He could hold a quarter. You know what I'm saying? What's up with another astronaut video? Astronaut video? What are you talking about? What do you think about the cello string? Cello, limoncello, limoncello, bro. Limoncello, cool. It's like a sativa, I think so, right? The limoncello or, or cello? I never cello string. Is that an actual string? Never had it before. Don't even know. What's up with another astronaut video? What are you talking about? Astronaut video. Hmm. I'm trying to think. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not sure. But, uh, all right, man. 35 minute live. Little quick live, bro. Where you sent the join up on the, on the, oh, I was supposed to, uh, 
You're right, bro. I'm supposed to make a part two of that, huh? Forgot about that. Astronaut Stoney. Dunana. Astronaut Stoney. Dunana. 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 I've been thinking about dying my hair red. Just look like a pine of red. Dunana. <laughs> Man, that's funny. You guys remember that, bro? That's so cool, bro. That's so cool that you all like, y'all, oh, bro. I fuck with y'all so heavy, bro. Y'all don't even know, bro. Like, I'm like, bro. I literally missed. I literally missed this shit, bro. Like, I was like, oh, bro. I want to fucking. I was rolling up the joint, and I'm like, damn, should I? I felt so guilty if I smoked without. If I smoked without y'all, bro. I would just feel guilty, man. I would feel bad. I was like, all right, I'm gonna call Mike. If Mike doesn't answer, or if Mike isn't home, then I just won't go live today. And I'll just upload a video tomorrow. And then Mike's like, oh, I'm not in town. I said, fuck. And then when I said fuck and I felt bad, I was like, all right, I got to go live, bro. Got to go hop on live real quick, bro. Say what's up to the people. Man, but um, this joint is done, bro. The roach lasted longer than the damn... The damn joint. Um, some videos will be coming this week, bro. Uh, I'm gonna be going live. Uh, I should be. I'm gonna put in work in December, bro. I feel like I've been uploading a video every day of December, right? Or not? Maybe I'm. I think I missed December first. But December second, December third. What's today? Today's December fifth. I think we're four days strong. Am I? Am I mistaken, guys? Yeah. Am I not? I think. I think I'm four days strong, right? So. I'm gonna try to keep it up, bro. Gotta take a piss. I'm gonna try to keep it up. For sure, for sure. You know what I'm saying? We're doing pretty good, man. Y'all proud of me, bro? Y'all proud of me? I think I've said this story before. Quick little story, man. Before I log out, this is uh, exactly right here, man. It was me and it was my big homie. I I had just got scammed, bro. I literally just got scammed for, I think I got scammed for like fifteen hundred bucks. I had just lost fifteen hundred dollars, bro. Fucking homie of mine told me that he knew how to do a scam. <clears throat> he knew how to do a scam. <clears throat> and I was like, fuck it, bro. Let's do it. He was like, you could get two bands off of it. I'm like, all right, bro. Let's do it then. And then, what's he called? Oh, no. He said, yeah, he said you could get like two bands off of it, right? And I remember I went over. Man, never do this shit. Never, ever do this shit, guys. Went over to his crib, bro. He was like, I, I just need your credit card number. <laughs> I need the number in the pack. And I need your social fucking security. <laughs> We're here slobbering this shit. And he said, I need your fucking social security. And my dumb ass said, all right, fuck it, I'm going to do this shit. I'm like, all right, do it, bro. I'm going to do it. Bro, who gives up their fucking social security? What a fucking dumb ass, bro. Stupid ass kid. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Give him, I give him my social security. And then, blah, 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 blah. Information goes down, you feel me? We're talking to this fool. We're talking to bro. He's from New York. And he's like, all right, check your account. Pull up my Wells Fargo. I had Wells Fargo at the moment. Pull up the Wells Fargo. Two bands, bro, in my account. It was like a little bit over two bands. I think I had like 800 bucks in my account. And then it was like 2,800 bucks. I'm like, shit, I'm about to go pull this motherfucker out. He says, all right, you can't do that. That's where shit got weird. I was like, I can't do that. I'm like, what do you mean I can't do that? He's like, if they do, you're going to freeze your account. Shit's going to go down, blah, 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 blah. That's the fucking scam right there. That two, When those two bands went into my account, I, I could have gone, bro. I could have gone and took it out. But I was the scam, bro. I am the method. I was the fucking method. 
he's like, all right, my homie said, all right, he's from New York, so we got to do this shit like at four in the morning, because over there, or no, it was like two in the morning, because over there, the bank opens up at six in the morning, something like that, right? Somewhere along those terms. In New York, three hours ahead, it opens up quicker. The market opens up like at six in the morning or something. Something like that, right? We're chilling in the front of my house. And then bro's like, okay, open up your email and you're going to get a code. And you got to give that code to him. So we're on the phone with the fool. My, ho my homie is on the phone with him. And I have my phone on gmail open or whatever i give bro the code 4842 4832 i feel like that's what it was it was a four digit code four digit i give him the code he goes oh it's not working mm. not working huh all right try again 4832 Nah, it's not working, bruh. He said it's not working. Well, shit, what the fuck? Well, what are we going to do? Uh, let me see. Let me text him. Bro starts texting him. He's like, we'll try again at around 2 p.m. Just go to sleep. I'm like, what, bro? I'm like, dog, I just spent like $400 of my actual money. <laughs> I just blew it I'm like on some fucking, I don't even know what I bought. I bought like some, I don't know what I bought. But I blew a lot of my money. I blew like half of my money. Cause I was like, well, I'm gonna get two bands later. And then he's like, just go later at 2 p.m. And we'll do it again, we'll try again. Dog. I was fucked up, right? I was just fucking coked out, zanned out. And this is why they fucking really got to me cause I just wasn't thinking straight. Coked out, barred out, bro. In the middle of the morning, they're like, I'll just go, we'll do that again at 2 p.m. Bro, I wake up, I went to sleep. Like I said, it was early in the morning, 3, 4 in the morning. I go to fucking sleep, wake up, check my Wells Fargo, negative, blah, 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 blah. It was like negative 1,800 bucks. I don't know what it was. It was like negative two bands. I don't know. It was a lot of fucking money. And, bro, I said, what the but I called my homie right away. Nigga, what the fuck? What the fuck? Like, what the fuck do I do? What do I do? He's like, bro, 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 just chill, just chill. He's like, he's like, you just got to call your bank, tell them that you got scanned, bro, and you don't know what happened. Just deny everything. And then as soon as he said that, bro, everything started to click in. And I said, oh, I'm the method. I got played. Now it's on me. Now I remember my big homie came, my actual homie, the plugs, the plugs brother, the plugs best friend. My big homie came and he just sat with me and he was like, what happened, bro? And he's like, I'm like, bro, I explained it to him everything that happened. And he got hella mad. He was like, he, he was like, nigga, he's like, that nigga got you, fool. He's like, fucking Tony, nigga. I was, he's like, he got you, bro. And he called him. He had his number. I didn't even have his number anymore. I think I had, like, blocked him and shit. And bro got mad, bro. Bro got mad for me, bro. That's why I fuck with this nigga, bro. Yeah, since a little kid, bro. Like, this fool. Like, since a little kid, bro. I remember one time, he literally pinned, like, <laughs> pause. He pinned me up against this fucking corner, grabbed me by the fucking balls and twisted him. And he's like, say... Say blah blah blah. Say blah blah blah. Like he was bullying, not bullying. At at the time, I thought he was bullying me, bro. But bro, he was just teaching me how to be a fucking man, bro. Like if anybody ever crossed me, he's gonna hurt him, bro. He's the only like just because he put his hands on me, don't mean anybody else could put their hands on me, bro. And I respected that so much, bro. Cause it had, like there's been times where I remember in the pee locker room one time, some fool came up to me. He's like, hey, let's throw down in the in the showers. And he heard, he heard, and I was like, I was like nah, I'm good, bro. I'm chilling. Bro was like a, like a game banger and shit. He's like, let's throw down in the bathroom, fool. Knuckles real quick. And then, bro, as soon as he said that, and I said no, bro comes up to him. He's like, nah, he's like, let's go, bro. I'm down. Let's go. He's like, he don't want to. I'm going to take it for him. 
And then, bro, I was like, nah, I'm good, bro. And I was like, bro, I was like, what? And then I was like, yeah, homie's a real one, bro. Shout out Anthony, bro. I'm going to say it. Shout out Anthony, bro. Bro, we got the same name. It's hella funny. Shout out Anthony, bro. I'm, that's that's a real one right there, bro. I ain't going to lie. But shout out Anthony fucking Mejia, bro. Shout out you, bro. Bro, got a family now, bro. Fucking nigga growing up and shit. But um, yeah, bro. I don't even know what I was talking about. I forgot what I was talking about. What the fuck was I even talking about? I don't even know, bro. <laughs> Hell, forgot. What the fuck was I talking about? <laughs> what was I talking about? I don't know. But yeah, man. Oh, I was talking about me getting scanned. Oh, bro, what the fuck? Uh, the chair? Y'all remember the chair, bro? The whole point was because of the fucking chair. All right. So I get scanned, bro. I just lost, you know what I'm saying, the money. Oh, oh. So my homie hops on the phone with the person that scanned me. He's like, hey, motherfucker. He's like, you know what you did, bitch. He's like, you know what you did, bro. He's like, you know. He's like, you're not stupid, fool. He's like, you were using this nigga, bro, because he didn't know what was going on. He's like, he's younger than you, nigga. He's like, why the fuck? He's like, he's your neighbor, way. He's like, he's your fucking neighbor, bro. You're going to do your neighbor like that, nigga? He's like, you know this fool's brother. Because like, he grew up with my older brother and stuff. And bro started going off on him, blah, blah, blah. He's like, pull up. I'm like, he's like, he's like, come out, fool. Come out, bro. Let's throw down right now. Bro was trying to fight this fool, bro. He was trying to fight him. He's like, let's throw down right now, bro. Right now. He's like, I got my own issues with you too that I gotta settle. I was like, bro. He's like, and then the the homie that fucking the homie that fucking scanned me, he was like, he was like, oh no, I'm not home. I'm out of town. I'm at work. Like some bullshit, right? Like he was just saying hell bullshit. He was like, bro, your car's home, nigga. Come outside, fool. He's like, I know you're home. I know you're home. And bro, bro just went off on him. And then um, I say all that just to say this this chair right here, this chair right here is the first time I ever took shoes. And I remember I was chilling right here in this fucking chair. It was actually, a, not this chair, actually, not this one. It was a red chair. It was a different chair. Same table, different chair. And uh, what's it called? It's at, you know you know what you know what chairs it is the ones in the backyard the red chairs in the backyard in the middle table those fucking chairs and I sat here I remember I took the fucking shrooms and then I had some I've said this story before I don't know if y'all remember but and I had some gray shorts right I had some gray shorts and I remember just like I remember looking at the cement and anything that was gray it just had like red. It was like a red laser of a king and queen. The like the 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 king and queen on the cards. It was like the king and queen's faces all over the ground with a whole bunch of Aztec signs. Like a whole bunch of feathers, like weird Aztec symbols. And anything gray. It's just like a red laser was coming from above and just projecting it into the cement. And then I was like, what the fuck? And then I look at my shorts and my gray shorts had the same fucking design bro i went to my room i went to my room later i had gray walls bro <laughs> my walls were gray i looked or actually only one wall was gray it was three blue walls and one gray wall i'm pretty sure if you go back to the videos I, like there might be a video of me in my old room and like you can see it's like three blue walls and like a gray wall Bro, just the whole thing beautiful, bro. Aztec signs covered in feathers. And I don't know. I just remember, like, sitting here with my homie. And he was like, what do you feel? And he just kept asking me questions. Because, like, I'm pretty sure he did this shit with his homies before. And I was like, bro. And the first thing I asked him, I'm like, do you see that stuff on the ground? And he was like, no. What are you talking about? I'm like, the red stuff. Like, all that red stuff. I'm like, no. He's like, he, oh man, he's like, no, I don't see that. And then he was like, point it to me, like draw it out to me on the ground. And dog, every time I would, he would, he would, like, he would tell me that, right? I'm sitting like this. And every time I would go forward to draw on the ground, like it would, it would disappear. Like what I was trying to, to draw out would just disappear. And then I would come back, sit down and it would appear again. I try to go draw it again and it would just disappear. And then he just kept asking me questions. I'm like, bro, I don't know how to explain it. And then that's when 
when he told me to draw it out and I kept going, I kept going to draw the shit out and it would just keep disappearing. That's when I was like, damn, bro. Like, I was like, whatever in my life that I go through is for me to understand. It's not for anybody else to understand. I know what I went through. I know why I am where I am. And you know why you do the things that you do. So it's like your story is your story. Is it meant for you? Nobody else is gonna understand and they're not supposed to and you can't get mad. Your story is your fucking story. It was written already. It's for you. Nobody else needs to understand why you did what you did or why you do what you do. That's for you to worry about. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's what I took from that trip. On some crazy shit, I was just like, damn. And it took me a little bit to realize it too. But whatever it happens, bro, it is, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is, bro. It's for you. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got the shit to worry about, bro. And like, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Ain't nobody thinking about you, bro. Nobody's thinking about you. Nobody. Even at the end of the day, your mom got a, got herself to worry about. You feel me? So it's like, yeah. Your story is your story, man. All right, man. I'm in this video. Quick live. Little quick live. Some slight. Some slight. <laughs> I fuck with y'all, bro. For real, for real. I fuck with y'all for fucking with me. Join the Discord. We lit in the Discord. Um, if you're not in it, you're missing out, man. What can I say, man? Join the motherfucking Discord. Suburban hood rat. Suburban fucking hood rats, bro. A whole bunch of fucked up individuals living in the motherfucking suburbs because we made it out, motherfucker. Suburban hood rats. Remember that. Remember that. Remember that. Established 2016.